Okay, I love you. Oh, sweet glasses. Thanks, Steve-O. <laughs> Happy 4th of July. Ah. Oh, kiss. Ah. Love you, America. Woo! Okay. I love you, Mom. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. She gone. Um, Good talk. I surprised you. You did. You got me. Gotcha. These are from Steve-O, just in case. Steve-O. I know how to get there. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. Kevin and Brianna, we're on our way to you. Come on, get a rhythm. Thanks for having a pool. And delicious food. And an awesome party. And, and an a great awesome family. Party. And a great family. And the liking us. Perhaps the greatest family. Just a great they family. They have a great family. All right. What? You at the pool. Joseph. Joseph. Hi. And the legend. What's your patriotic message, Brandon? Um, pray, eat, and smile. Oh, nice. That's good. That's what the founders did, right? And fought wars. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. Independence Day. It's all about the wars. Sorry for the delay. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Two hours later. No, I didn't. This is exactly. She Sorry just about said that. Coke, and I was like, Coke, Coke, Coke. I need a Coke. Fun, right? Look at our little prince. Oh, precious. Mm -hmm. Hi, little buddy. Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Got it. You missed it when we all stacked up on top there. Right? Yeah. Some play-by-play -play from Lauren on the grilling efforts. Uh, Pat Summerall to your I'm, I'm, just, uh, I'm just here for the show, man. America. Yeah. America. Meat. <laughs> it's good. So you got burgers coming, too. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, but last year, I mean, not to put any pressure, but you did have a th heat thermometer or a meat thermometer. Yeah, I think I'm going to skip that this time around. I think you should. Yeah. Too much work. I just actually bought Wait. a new one because we really Let's needed it. We did we did ribs the other night and should have had nice. one and didn't. But uh, let them sit on top there for a while. They'll be yeah. nice and nice and charred and you got it. You know, yeah. Meat thermometer. That's right. Black. That's what you Hot, yeah. Good. Good. You guys recovered from camping? No pressure. You only have a hundred a hundred mouths to feed, right. Kevin. No That's pressure. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I know where he's leaning. I you see her. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Nice drink, Brandon. As always, cheers, YouTube. Happy 4th. Cheers. Cheers. That's how Brandon does it. <laughs> He's not afraid, right, Kyle? Not afraid, right? <laughs> not a second back. Seat. It's the same thing, yeah. That's awesome. It's tasty. I, went I must say it's uh, nice and calm, which is good. It's, it's good for us. Question of the day. 
which, by the way, Kevin and Brianna, great party, great party, delicious food, amazing. Okay, question of the day. I ask this every year on July 4th because it is simply incredible. It speaks to the uh, divine nature of the United States of America. Two gentlemen helped found this country, meaning they sacrificed a hell of a lot to make this country exist. They helped write the Declaration of Independence and did a lot of other things. So which two presidents died on July 4th? You probably already know this because I asked the same question last year, but do you know? Pause because I'm about to tell you the answer. Thomas Jefferson and John Adams, I believe in 1825, died on July 4th within hours of each other. These two guys fought so hard to found this country, to write the Declaration of Independence, to lead the country through the infancy eight stages of... Oh, a cookie. Yeah, Thank you. It's cookie time. And it just, it's cookie time. It just speaks to the, uh, <laughs> how blessed we are to be Americans. And I think it speaks to how blessed we are to be Americans. Because it's like, <laughs> what are the chances? What are the chances that those two presidents, those two friends at the end of their life, died on the same day within hours of each other? hundreds of miles, TJ, TJ, in Virginia, and John Adams in Massachusetts. I mean, what are the chances? I digress. I digress.